So it's six in the morning here. I haven't slept a wink. Just one of those nights you just can't sleep. And what am I going to go do today? I'm going to go carve a toilet bowl. Yep, that's right. A flower pot toilet bowl. Oh boy. What am I thinking? What are you thinking, Jordy? What are you thinking? My name's Jordy Johnson. My name's Grumpy Jesse, and this is Carving Fusion by Jordy Johnson. See ya. Okay, so I went through the trouble to uh, print these up. It's good to have reference pictures, guys. I'm at my chainsaw carving area. I just can't believe how green everything is since I've been here like a week and a half ago. Everything's just so friggin' green. Like even look at the big old cottonwood tree. It's just, it's a bird haven. So yeah, this is all like totally gonna be crazy blackberry. I mean, yeah, blackberry crop this year oh yeah all the way down so yeah it's just look even my sawdust pile is just I think it's only been a week and a half since I've been here carving and it's just out of control anyways I don't think um, I do have some more uh, cedar I got this cedar pole I got that one I got this one a pretty big size one I'd say a foot and a half across the top this one's the widest one I got but it's not it's not wide enough for a toilet that's what I've come to I want to get a piece of wood that's I can carve a life-size toilet I don't want to carve no bullshit half-size toilet I want it to be life-size so toilet carvings out of the plan today guys and I guess I'm just gonna finish it I want to get this piece of crap wood well it's not crap this is first growth uh, red cedar old first growth red cedar it's rotten all the way through okay I uh, made a couple flower potters off this and I sold them right away so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish carve this one make it a flower potter I've already cut it with my smaller saw all the way down here you can see I made it a point and I cut it all the way down on this side too because I'm gonna make it a wood spirit flower potter I don't care I just don't have the patience today like I said I haven't slept I'm just gonna be taking my time cranking the music and getting some freaking carving done so that's the bottom line so I'll get these I'll get this cut out with my bigger saw you guys I got my safety chainsaw pants on I got my steel toe shoes on um, and my gloves okay and I got fresh new box of hearing protection I think this is important stuff to have guys 100% the chaps and the steel toe shoes I wouldn't even attempt chainsaw carving without the pants the chaps or the shoes just my opinion it's overgrowing here so I'm gonna get this all cut out here okay so that went as better as planned better than as planned so you can see here now I'm gonna start off with a tri uh, triangle to do my face I wish I didn't cut deep in there I did it on another carve I guess that's what's there so I got to get rid of that no big deal because his hair is gonna come back up this is all gonna be his hair right his face will be here so I'm gonna get this worst part over with right now okay so when you're cutting this way hollowing all this out you're this is the worst possible carving you can do in my opinion you're cutting against the grain okay going this way is against the grain okay so what I'm gonna do now is get my chainsaw I'm gonna cut deep in here on this line because remember guys this is gonna be a flower potter on this line and then I got brought my gouger I might chainsaw some squares in it it's only going to be a succulent holder, guys. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to do the worst part first is haul this shit out. Wood carving, guys. Got to love it. Okay, so I got it hollowed out now. And they're about uh, 
four inches plants can even go in there I'm telling you that's a lot of work taking that out for me anyways I don't know the pro carvers that watch this video might be like ha, 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 that's nothing or why didn't you cut it all the way through ha, 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 ha. well I did it this way okay so now with this wood spirit face or whatever you know I was kind of thinking I'm gonna make a flower pot on too it's more more it would be more attractive to try and sell right we'll just do a little succulent plant holder up here so this is so wide it's not proportionate right like this is so wide the beard would have to go way down to the bottom of this this uh, thing pot here right so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make this work so and you guys too like I say in my other videos even with smaller carvings like I said this was rotten here always get rid of your rotten wood first just get rid of it because you might start carving you might forget that you might have some rotten wood here and it might just screw up your carving so I got rid of most of the, that's just my opinion to you guys so I got rid of most of the rotten wood here okay so since we're gonna have this a succulent plant holder and there's two different levels here let's uh let's uh put his forehead right here this is gonna be a huge face you're not even gonna really see the bottom of it you're just gonna see the well I don't know I just don't know so then we'll put our center line back on because we lost our point so then let's try our nose here see that seems pretty low so we're gonna have to put our nose up higher damn you nose damn you okay put our eyes here As long as you can see the mustache is going into the plant and you'll have a mouth here, the plants will cover it anyways. So I don't know. I, need, I even need to take this up higher. What are you thinking, Jordy? What are you thinking? That's why it helps to have two different color pens, guys. But I don't happen to have two different color pens. okay so it's gonna be up there and um, all his hair on the sides is just gonna be like flowing off the sides okay his beard everything even maybe I'll make his mustache like that that's what I'll do you're not even really gonna see it because the dirt's gonna be here the plants are gonna be there but I guess I just don't know what else I can do. I can clean it up and just make it up, like clean this wood up and put some lines in there and make it a plant holder, but I could carve a flower at each side. I'm gonna think about it for a bit. Okay, I thought about it. A wood spirit, I don't feel like carving it today. Um, a flower on each side won't work so this here I'm just gonna get this I'm gonna cut it off on an angle I'm just trying to show you guys how to open up your minds kind of right I'm gonna cut it off on an angle and then I'll put one flower up here you'll see and I'll make some petals come around here okay so yeah blah, 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 blah. Guys, look at all the cottonwood uh, flying through here. Good thing I'm not allergic to it. Because she's coming down. I don't know if you can see it. It's like it's snowing. Everywhere. It's just so green around here. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's all coming from this big old cottonwood tree. Look, it's snow and cottonwood. Lots of people are allergic to this shit. <laughs> okay, 
So anyways, back to carving. Carving Fusion 101. I got this uh, nice and flush now, right? Got rid of that shit. I carved a hole for a succulent plaque back there. I'll, I'll curve this out more later. So, now I'm happy that I did that. I wasn't feeling the wood spirit today. So, put our center light on there. Let me get this flower drawn on. Uh, it'll probably be like, I was thinking like one of those white, white and yellow ones. Or daffodils or something, but I don't know. I'll just probably do a carving fusion flower. Yeah, okay, so, uh. I don't even know if I'm digging this flower. If she had tried one here, like a like a cherry blossom that I tried the points. That's what happens when you don't sleep, guys. Your mind wants to sleep. So whatever. Whatever. Let's just carve it and be done with it, right? I don't know. Hold on. Let me think. Screw it. I'll go with the flower. I'll go with the flower. Okay, so I got a 193 here. Rear handle. This is an arborist saw, guys. It's usually just a top handle saw, but this one's a rear handle. With a still, it's a still saw. Uh, I think this saw is like 400 and something dollars Canadian. And it's got the bar. Little dime tip still bar on there. You know, guys, there's all different sorts of sizes of bars and chains, and it gets so confusing, especially for me. It's just a mind blob. It's a mind fart, whatever you call it, a brain fart. So all I do now, I know the pro guys or whatever say these still, these new still bars aren't very good. They break easy. I've already broke one. You got to be, you know, this isn't for heavy carving, guys. This is just for little detailing stuff. But I just, okay, long story short, I just go to still. I say, okay, I want the 193 and I want a dime tip bar on there. It's all still. Makes it simple. Because once you start getting into organ bars, then you got to get different size changes. Then you got to change your, your sprocket inside here. So just, that's the easiest way to do it. Just go to, if you, and your closest. Say if you got Husky or Echo closer to you, the closest is the best for you, I, in my opinion. That's what I read. When I was just getting into chainsaw curving, I did lots of reading on it. And lots of the pro guys said, you know, the best saw for you is the closest dealership that you have to you. So you don't have to drive it half an hour, an hour when you gotta, when something breaks on your saw or when you need a new chain. It's a five minute drive and boom, there's your new chain. When I use bar oil, I don't use chainsaw bar oil. I use canola oil. It's, uh, I don't know. Whenever I used to do cross cuts, not cross cuts, but I don't know, 45 degree cuts, my uh, bars would smoke and chains would smoke. But since I use this stuff, I never get any smoking problems or overheating problems anymore. But um, it's sticky stuff. So you like your, your saws are dirty. I gotta spend one good day here cleaning up all my saws with gas or I'll, I'll look into it. But yeah, they all need to be cleaned up pretty good. If you wanna take care of your tools, right? These aren't cheap tools. Like look, two saws right here, that's a thousand bucks. They're both 193s. These are these are uh, a lot lighter than the uh, 170s that you get cheap, but I don't know, an extra 250 bucks, right? So. Okay guys, you can see there, I got the flower cut in with the chainsaw. That's all chainsaw work. I made the pointy tips. I had to close that back door, because like I say in lots of my other videos, lighting can really mess with your uh, eyes. So now what I'm going to do is, this is going to be a layered carving. I don't want to put too much time into this. You guys, and another thing too I thought about it, like I shouldn't, I shouldn't even be really making this video today because I haven't slept. You know, you definitely shouldn't be using power tools like uh, chainsaws if you haven't slept. So I'm just going to put a couple leaves here. Okay, so I got one, I got three leaves. So I think I might have some red paint. So I might paint this red. And the leaves green so I'm gonna do the same thing with my chainsaw cut these out so it's it's cut straight in and then feather away same with the Dremel cut straight in your cuts then come in and feather it away just like these flowers I cut them straight then I came back and did all the feathering okay 
so it will have three leaves or yeah three leaves is good offset one two three okay guys so I got the flower carved in I got the leaves carved in I'd say about half inch thick so you can see one layer two layers right okay so now I got this uh, electric die grinder old school craftsman I got from my buddy Pete and I got a cut sole extreme flame burr. This is a quarter inch burr, guys. If you want to get the cut soles, go to the description below to the cut sole site. Use the code CFUSION and you'll save yourself 5%. So I'm going to be using this to uh, clean up all around these edges, get rid of any chainsaw cut marks. Then when I'm done that, then I'm going to get my grinder. This is the cut sole shaping disc, guys. This is for more experienced people that know how have used power tools their whole lives. This disc, okay? Because this grinder doesn't have a uh, speed control. You can buy speed controls that will work for this. You know, just Amazon uh, speed control. And then you'll be able to slow this grinder down because this, when it kicks back, this sucker kicks back, let me tell you. And if anybody else says it doesn't, well, I, I, I will, I'll, I'll get into a debate about that, no problem, because this will kick back, and this will rip your face. Okay? So just make sure you know how to use a grinder good. I worked in a steel shop for like, uh, I think, eight years, making, uh, I was a laborer for uh, a bridge, modular bridge company, so I did lots of grinding, so I have been used to the grinders then I went to school for iron working and I was a welder a field welder yada 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 all whatever and please wear your dust mask guys because this this and this throw dust especially this throw dust like you won't believe okay so I'm gonna get that done sorry I don't I don't want to sound like I'm preaching I just the chainsaw carving is not really my kind of video thing and I don't want anybody to get hurt watching my videos you know what i mean so i'm just trying to make sure everybody's being safe also guys i just got an email from cut Soul and they're having a sale till uh, i believe it is um next month on the third uh 10 off so and there's a code reese i think it's called restock 10 so you just follow the description below to, to get to the cut Soul site then use the code um restock 10 and you'll save yourself 10 percent not five percent restock 10 is the code okay so it's now 9 30 in the morning i got this all uh dug out there i got some more little drain holes put in i put these channels for the water to run down to the rod area so this flower is still a little bit wet on this spot you know because that's the rot held the wetness in the center of the wood like you can see here it's dry but here, closer to where the rot was, it's still wet because the rot was holding the moisture, right? The punky rotten wood that's down here. So anyways, I'm just going to get a torch. And I'm going to burn this. And uh, I'm not I'm not going to show Sugi Bannon. And another thing too I want to say, I'm not saying that word show Sugi Bannon anymore. I can't stand it. I know it's Japanese and I love Japanese art and stuff like that. But I'm just tired of saying it. And to tell you the truth, there's no proof that the Japanese invented it, so I'm not saying it anymore. And you got a knot here, big deal. If somebody that wants to buy this bitches about that knot in there, those aren't the type of people that you want to sell your art to. That's my opinion. Okay guys, it's all burnt. I didn't burn it too deep. Oh, it's smoldering there. Uh-oh, inside there too is still smoldering, but that's okay. We got a fire extinguisher here because we got to be about safety. And we also have this uh, water bottle. Give it some taps with the water. Just be safe, guys. That's all. Okay, so this time I got the sandpaper on the drill. This is like a big mandrel thing, like uh, the same way I do my small little flap sanders. But this is big belt sandpaper stuff. It's emery cloth. But this stuff's uh, pretty worn. This one's pretty worn out, but it's all I got around. So uh, I'm going to run around and 
clean it up with this and we'll see what's next oh yeah I also had my grinder with my uh, Dremel with my uh, uh, sorry cut saw the shape carving disc on there and I cleaned up all the wood too and I signed it down there kind of highlighted it okay guys so I got it burnt I got it sanded as good as I wanted to get you know I'm not trying to build like a Emmy winning or whatever art gallery piece I'm just trying to make it look like a flower so I got um, I was gonna use spray paint but I figured I don't have the proper paint brushes and stuff here all I had is one of my foam things so I just ripped it in half and I got this little foam part and I got this uh, Tim Hortons coffee mug for the lid and I got this dollar store red paint so that's what I'm gonna do and I know this paint works good because uh, lots of the natives actually use it on their totem poles and they just put uh, acrylic over to uh, like acrylic clear acrylic over top of it so I know what's gonna work and I'm gonna sand this to it when I'm done it so it will give it some like uh, highlights okay so I need to uh, get in the zone here get this friggin painting done and then we'll be back okay there you go ugly as right fuck she'll love it I don't know it looks too much like one of those Christmas uh, Christmas uh, plants you know what I mean the reds I gotta change it let me try another color so the lady that's gonna want to buy this flower planter off me is gonna say oh Jordy so what kind of flower is that where is it from you know what I'm gonna say I don't fucking know I'll say see guys it's all art it's all art you just gotta open your mind and give her shit that's it give her shit look it's a paint pour all right okay yes but so uh, all jokes aside I don't know I don't know what to do with this flower I'm gonna take it home I'll maybe put some white paint in the middle or put some white dots on here make it look like uh, one of those lilies I just have no idea I don't know but then I'm gonna uh, once the weather gets a bit nicer it's gonna rain here for a couple days I'll uh, I'll probably spar varnish it nah forget it I'm done it's done I just gotta fix up this flower with some white I don't know maybe some yellow yeah yellow it's from outer space this plant it's very it's the most rarest plant there is on earth Yes, it's from a planet that um, an alien brought it. That's right. Orange. Yeah, I think orange would be a good color. Orange and white dots. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe uh, orange with red stripes, white dots. I posted on uh, Facebook World of Wood, uh, Facebook Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers, what color I should uh, do this flower. To make it better but guess what maybe it's maybe just the flower sucks who knows i don't know do you know anyways hope everybody's gonna have a great day and uh, be safe guys